Alright, so what we've got here is uh, a very cheap, but I feel a honestly priced uh, bird box, which I'm hoping to convert using a Wi-Fi enabled endoscope, which has a tiny little camera just here. Um, and even though basically you can buy uh, Wi-Fi enabled bird boxes for anywhere in the region of 70 to 80 pounds, um, this bird box is £3.50 and this endoscope, which I purchased anyway just because it's damn useful for like doing repairs under cars, uh, doing machine work, looking underneath floorboards, in drains. Uh, I, I consider it just a really useful bit of tech from China, should we say, <laughs> that's just been manufactured at the cracking price of 25 quid. So basically, this all in. Um, obviously with a little bit of work is is basically about 30 quid so better than half price um, <clears throat> and as always being the engineer that I am I couldn't resist but uh, kind of get way too into it so what I, what I realized was a helpful little thing is what what you might recognize here is this little insert here is what allows me to feed the endoscope in to the top now Obviously it goes without saying, uh, you, you probably don't want to do this all the time because you're going to disturb the birds, but um, the beauty of this being so cheap is you can put it essentially in a uh, waterproof enclosure uh, with a USB power supply going in there and run it. Instead of being on continuously, you can just check in when you need it. But what it's also allowed me to do is kind of, you know, not to say that I wouldn't buy the £70 one, but I wanted to understand what how nesting habits actually work. So I've also got these little side ports here, which I can insert into, and I'd get some really interesting little uh, different camera angles. And to be honest, I don't know how high, you know, a blue tit versus a robin builds its nest. Or indeed, theoretically, I should get a, wood, uh, a blue tit based on this hole size, but I really don't know. Um, so either way, I kind of thought it's a kind of cool hack that these little 3mm syringes basically become super useful for me to explore all sorts of different filming angles. Um, and as you can see, I had that one vertically, and here I've got them horizontally. Um, and I also, another thing that you see crop up on sort of uh, bird boxes with cameras in, is they quite often have these little windows. So as you'll probably see from a, a previous process video, I was doing some work with Meiku, and, uh, which is a company that makes a, a vacuum forming uh, machine called Formbox. And I kind of actually just been thinking differently about this and I started off by hacking these plastic bottles into things like this <clears throat> and recycling the HDPE. And I realized this was actually a perfect opportunity to make a little viewing window and as you can see just from inside there, it means that essentially I, I don't have to disturb them by having a gentle ambient light, which would be better for photography. And so although these things exist on the market, I just thought it was kind of cool that I was able to knock one up um, just using a heat gun and squashing it with a plug of wood into this, flipping it around, gluing it black into place. Um, in case that sounds very quick that I'm going over the process, um, I'll eventually upload the, the instructable guide in the link below when I finish it. But either way, I just thought this was a fun little uh, excursion and again, just some little quirky details of putting a chimney on it. But you get the point that because of the beauty of a syringe, it's just got a perfect watertight seal, which means no water's going to run in there and essentially drip directly onto the heads of the birds. So um, I'll try and include a little bit of me poking around with the footage at the end of this video, but I thought it was just a nice exploration of sometimes when you get into a project, um, the more you start thinking about how you want to uh, observe the user, or in this case, the, the subject of different birds using some sort of technology, it throws up all sorts of just interesting problems and hacks as you get into it. So um, the only other one that I thought I'd mention which is that I really don't know whether this is going to work, but um, I've basically put this blind, which I usually have down in my workshop, and it's got a little bird box in there. And that's just basically hanging on to the 
uh, the, the double glazing window frame just with a bit of strip metal. So hopefully we'll be able to leave that as it is and uh, see if we get lucky. But anyway, hope this has uh, been interesting. I'll include a little video of me poking around with this guy to show you what the video quality is like, but it's pretty impressive that it's in colour. And um, of course, yeah, this is process. Let's see if any anything actually takes nest. So, uh, and if, if you do know anything about this, please throw some tips in the comments below. I uh, really appreciate it. But um, yeah, kind of interesting for my son, and uh, I think I'm kind of interested in it too as well, in truth. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Also, this is interesting. I just figured out how to do a voiceover. So this video was originally silent. Here it is anyway, going into the uh, bird box with the rubber ducky as stand-in for what I hope will be blue tits and robins. This is kind of cool. Voiceover. Yeah, going in through the other holes. And so that's probably what I'm hoping the best height for the nest height. And again, trying things out with different bird boxes. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this far. Oh yeah, and it's a Wi-Fi T-Mobile phone, which is what I recorded this on. Boom!